Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon, folks. I hope you guys are having a Wednesday afternoon. So this afternoon, you know what? Let's revisit uh, the Bravo Beast Express. So we talk about 14 bar pressure a lot on, on my channel a lot, okay? Because the reason is the Bravo Beast Express from manufacturer uh, that comes with the 14 bar pressure, between 14 and 15 bar pressure. If you don't, if you're new to the machine, new to the channel, that's the pressure from the group head, okay? The group head pressure there. And then if you want to, you, you guys watch like YouTube channels, or Instagram page, even like Coffee Professional, we always talk about nine bar pressure, okay? I don't know how we come up with the nine bar as a standard, but <clears throat> right now, if you talk to professional coffee, uh, coffee machine, supposed to be between like eight bar, nine bar there. So again, our Brista Express comes in the 14 bar. So you know what, let me show you, okay, let me, so I have pressure gauge here. So I'm gonna show you what that nine bar pressure look like. And then we are going to, I'm gonna share with you how we're gonna fix that, okay? It's gonna be, I have some kind of like invasive method to fix it. And also we have a non-invasive to modify your Bravo Brista Express. So uh, we're gonna, we are going to uh, cover that both, uh, both method. So having said that, let me show you the, so let's do the pressure test on the coffee machine here. Okay, okay, I got the right angle. So again, I'm going to, I, I removed the filter baskets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put the add some water first. So build up some pressure. So, I mean, so this is more like the static pressure test, which means it doesn't move. But, but again, it's gonna be slightly, so this number is slightly higher than actually if you have a coffee grinds there, but still close enough, okay? Still close enough. All right, hopefully you guys can see it. So that is four bar right there. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14 bar pressure, okay? So I'm gonna start with, just, I'm, I'm just gonna press the button here. Right now we are doing the pre-infusion right now. Pre-infusion is about between two and four. Go all the way up to 14, okay? So 14 bar pressure. So as you can see, this machine is 14 bar pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you the few things we can actually fix this. So the best way to fix this uh, is the, I mean, the, the proper way to fix this, I mean, you just buy another machine, okay? So you can take care of all these issues. Just make sure you get the right coffee machine, you know, get about between an eight and nine bar coffee machine. Better yet, a uh, coffee machine like, I think a Ranch Rodriguez Servia comes with a nine bar from manufacturer. There's a lot, uh, even like Bravo Brewster Pro, the Pro is between like six and eight bar machine there. So Pro actually, they fixed that issue. But again, with the Express, as you saw, 14 bar. Okay, so how can we fix it? Uh, if you don't have the money to fix it, uh, another option is a dimmer mod, okay? So uh, I actually did a video on this. Hopefully I can show you guys. Flip the camera around. So I did a dimmer mod. Uh, it's, I mean, it costs you about $6.35 from modification from Amazon there. Uh, you can uh, follow the step. I show you guys how to the break it apart. And the, you can actually uh, access the back and change or uh, change it out. Not to change out, uh, add the dimmer mass so you can control the, uh, the pressure. The, you know, kind of like the pump pressure there. Uh, which means you change the pump power to reduce the pressure. 
So this is another method. Uh, if not, okay, if you don't want to do this, go to Amazon, okay? It's called Fan Speed Controller Adjustable. It's about $17, $18. I'm going to put the link down below, okay? What I'm so this one is so much easier. I mean, you just, uh, put the plug in the outlet there and then put the machine, put the rubber machine, the plug right there. You can actually control the, uh, the, the power of the pump pressure, okay? So you can lower the, uh, the group head pressure. So this is more, cost you 18, 18 bucks. Uh, if you don't like it, you just return it. So this is more like, I mean, if I'm doing it again, so this is my first choice. Okay, I definitely I'm gonna do this one first before I'm gonna be doing the actual dimmer mod. Because I mean dimmer mod, yes, is you know it costs less, but you no, know, you have to break it apart. You know what? I mean, if you're not that good at tinkering with you know your coffee equipment, plus if you have a warranty on your coffee machine. You definitely don't want to mess with. So I think I really like the, the fan controller. Again, cost you about 18 bucks. So I think that's my first choice. So once you do that, so this machine, I set up the dimmer mod right here. Okay. So right now we are at full power. Okay. I'm going to adjust down about 30%. Okay. I'm just going to adjust about 30% here. And then let me show you what's going to happen with the pressure. All right. So we adjust up uh, dimmer. So let's start it one more time. You saw earlier we were all the way back. So right now we are pressure at six. I'm going to start messing with controller. Now we are at 10. Again, as you can see, you can control this a lot easier. So this is like, I mean, if you don't want to spend money on upgrading your coffee machine, so this is pretty good option. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, let's do that one more time. I'm going to do full power on my dimmer mod. As you can see, it's going up. Now it's pegged down to 14 bar pressure. So I mean, is that secret? Uh, it could be. I mean, you know, I mean, if you don't know how, if you know how to do it, it's not a secret. But I mean, if you are thinking about doing it down the road, it's definitely kind of like you are going to uh, remedy that. You know, you're gonna have too much, uh, you know, too much power on your, too much pressure on your group head there. So, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm just looking at the, your questions there, right? By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, don't forget to enter the DF64, the grinder giveaway, okay? I'm gonna put the link down below it as well because it definitely, uh, I mean, just, I mean, definitely enter. Uh, it's gonna be US only, but I'm gonna have another giveaway coming up end of this week. I think I'm gonna open up to like uh, Canada and Europe and Australia as well, so. All right, let's see here. I think we got, Charlie, you got Dylan's on on the live chat. They're talking about something. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, we are doing the simulcast this afternoon through Discord as well. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, joining the Discord, uh, let, me, uh, let me know, okay? I'll be happy to send you the link as well. So I think we are pretty good for this afternoon. Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section. Okay, I'd love to hear you, uh, how many of you thinking about Doing the dimmer mod, okay, uh, lo love to hear your thoughts on it. I mean, if you don't want to do the actual dimmer mod, 
I'm gonna uh, put the link for the that fan uh, controller switch. That is pretty good option. Okay, it's not. I mean, that's very non-invasive. You don't have to break it open. I think it might be the better option for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon, and see you guys next time.